Books transform lives. They are bridges from your current self to your best self. And who better to show you how to get to the top than those already there? Welcome to the book I'm reading. The weekly sit down with accomplished Nigerians. Now we find out what they are currently reading and how that book shapes their worldview. My name is Richard Ophir, and I'm your host. So my friend today that I'll be sitting with is the uh, undefinable Chioma Mel, a.k.a. Chiga. Hey. <laughs> Chiga, so, can, so, should I call you? Because I, I don't, I have never called you Chioma. Well, I think it would be a good, it would be a good thing. I, I like, I like my name. It's, oh, okay. I do. Yes. I, I like my name, even though Chigo is our market's name. Yes. You know, so as you call it, as you call it, Chioma. Yeah. On this show, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, Chioma. Chioma. It's my name. You know, so, so, so we've been having today. I'm gonna flip it a bit. You know, we've been having this very interesting conversation outside. So you're probably my first guest who doesn't like books. Yeah. <laughs> I, am. But, <laughs> I might be the only one you'll find in your wild. Who doesn't, who doesn't like, doesn't like yeah, books? Yeah, yeah. Um, but 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 who has embraced technology? Yes. And so you are listening yes. to books I'm now. Yes, listening to books. Yes. And, and you did say as a child yeah. you never really like no, books, I didn't like which is very strange. Yes. But before we dive into that, tell me. I usually ask people, so what book are you reading now, and 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 who is it written by and all that? So, but for you, I'll flip it. So what book are you listening to right now? And who voiced it? And who voiced it? I'm I'm listening to Bamboozled by Jesus, um, written by Yvonne Oji and voiced by Yvonne Oji. So she was a comedian and you know, she's she's been she's on she's been on Insecure and a couple of other projects and a really funny, funny girl and uh, happens to be my friend as well. So I just thought let me because when she when I first the title, I was like, hmm, Bamboozled by I Jesus. I love the title. Yeah. And reading it, I see what she means because she really was bamboozled by Jesus. Well, how, how was she bamboozled by I, I think because when, when she talks about her life and how she started, because just I've talked to Yvonne like on one on one and just her story and her life. And literally, she did, she's, she's the typical Nigerian parent. Your parents want you to be a doctor. And you're doing all these science subjects, and all of a sudden, you're now a court jester, according to your mother. Yes. You're now a court jester, making people laugh, like, really? How? And she's like, this is now, she's living the life of her dreams and doing everything. And so she's like, literally, this was not, the, this was not, I guess, in her, in her eyes, this was not the plan, but it became the plan. This was not the idea, but it became the God idea. Is the, is the book funny though? Because it's, I know she's a funny she's, girl. It's, and because she narrates it, like you hear things that she, she quips in and quips out with certain things and you're like, oh yeah, that's true. Like like you hear her say, yo. And it's like she's talking to herself. I'm like, she's, she's you're narrating a book, sister. When it's like almost like she's talking to you. So yeah. yeah it's I, I, like I said to you, I, I, must, I must find a way to, you know, I'm old school, so I, I like to read. <laughs> I like to read. But, you and many others in the whole world. <laughs> So, so she she talked about you know uh, I guess in a way you've explained it you know being bamboozled into living her dreams. Yeah. You 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 have do you think of your life is mirroring uh, being bamboozled by Jesus because you are living the, the, the life of your dreams. I guess your parents too didn't want you to be <laughs> she girl <laughs> or the cop just It was not even like and I tell people that comedy happened to me. Because it wasn't anything that was in my plans when I thought about it. Like, okay, when I moved back from America and I was like, I was teaching French in, in high school in the US. And that's what I studied, French education, after failing woefully at criminal, trying to be a lawyer. <clears throat> and then so we ended up <laughs> teaching French. Um, and then I moved back to Nigeria. And the plan was, because my father, my late father at the time, he was like, you know what, let's do business together. Let's use your your French language and let's work on some exportation, importation situation. Some international Yes, yeah, something, you know, and he was like, you know, you go to Lagos Business School, I have classes for you already. And then he passed away. And then I found myself teaching at a school in Lekki. And then I got a job in ECOWAS, first as a translator, then I worked in the corporate and political department. And then one day I do voices all the time. And then one day I do this voice. I send to my friends all the time. They delete, they laugh and delete. And then one of my friends, Gloria Bremer, she's a gospel singer, sends it to somebody else. 
And the next thing I know, I got it from America. Saying there's this girl called Chigo, listen to her. She's yeah, really she, funny. She, she, she says things like, yeah, don't, yeah, be don't be a west. And, you know, and sing silly songs. And so I, th I, I think I was bamboozled. I, I was See? I was bamboozled by Jesus. Funny enough. Okay. That's right, because I can I can see that. I can yeah. see that you yeah. know you know you guys you're at, at some point there's a convergence yes. between your life being and hers, yes, that yes, has yes. you being bamboozled. Yes. yes. <laughs> it's a word that, that, that you know you never thought would be the title of a book. Yes. Or be the title yes, of a book. Yes. I mean, when I was young we used to love the word bamboozle. <laughs> you know, to say it Yeah, like just this. you say that you it makes bamboozled me, like you yeah, cheated me. Makes you feel very yeah. tell me, um how 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 has technology you know with audiobooks how, how many do you listen to uh, in, in a week or in a um month? I, okay the truth is I, i'm not there i'm not you get like you i'm not an avid book person just yet yeah, okay. i think in my adult life i'm starting to sort of find books helpful in my life mm -hmm. Once upon a time, I could have cared less. Okay. But now, I'm like, okay, I don't want to flip through any pages. I don't want to do it. Flip, flip, flip. So let me listen to it in my own free time. So I'm currently doing, um, I've, I've read books by Paulo Coelho, oh. which uh, I read The Alchemist. I read, I think, uh, three or four of his books. I don't remember which ones. I think Veronica Must Die. Because they just intrigued me. And and his name also, it's weird how I stumbled upon Paulo Coelho because of his name. Okay. Um, and now I'm reading um, Bamboozled by Jesus and then another, I guess, comedy books by comedian Gina Yashere, um, Cack Handed. So I'm, I'm listening to that as well. So. Yeah, I, I mean, that's another person who reminds yeah. me of Yvonne. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, we, yeah. we have a fairly good collection of yes, Nigerian yes, comedians yes, yes, uh, right now. Yes, yes, know. yes. Um, so uh, you, you did say also that you, you listened to at least Americana. Yes, which I have. Is one of my books on this book. Yes, yes, yeah. I saw it. And I, I have the physical book. So, so do you think that well, you you are drawn to quirky, you know, quirky books? I think that's it. I think that's it. You, you, I, I think that's it. You look for the funny. Yes, I, I think it, I look for what I can either one relate with or relate to, and and anything that I think stands out to me, like meet, maybe meeting the author and knowing the author and seeing them in there. When I think okay, if somebody's interesting, then whatever they write should be interesting and should be. And because for us as comedians, I was like in this field somebody that is writing things that would maybe help me because you know our lives are up and down especially in the past couple of years we've had to deal with you know work and no work and dry times and dry spells and and just sort of like sometimes i've i've personally struggled with just losing my zeal and just my gusto and just feeling really down at certain points and i i i needed something to remind me of why i love what i love what i do why i love why i love what i do and and why should i keep at because you know, I don't tell I was like, I don't want to do anyone done. Like, I know, we'll get there. We all get there at some point. But would you like to do your own book, though? At least narrate it yourself. Because you do have a story. You, know, I, mm, I, you, you, you did say, for instance, you know, like, you didn't like the, the girl who didn't like books. Yes. But who could now do access. Can you imagine if you have to narrate your own book? And you have to put the voice of everybody. <laughs> every accent that every I do accent inside. That you do All in thirteen there. of them inside the book. It will be crazy. Thirteen accents. What 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 are what, what? Um, I have of course uh, the three Nigerians. So there's Chigo. There's uh, the character I did called Modinot. I created her name is Modinot. And then I have. <laughs> How does Modinot? Uh, Modina is like she like um, she's like um, she has a um, theory degree. You understand? They she have put it together, so it's one. You understand, and she also do other things. You understand, like um, to help um, people to learn how to do other things. <laughs> Is the <there> for me? <laughs> <laughs> <Like the same. laughs> um, and then there's been two who's Hausa, and um, she, she's like, you know, I'm in the senior class. I want to help everybody to have to learn the. Um, you understand, and the uh, junior class, if they have problem in the class. We help them to go to the other killers. You understand? I understand. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you speak Hausa? Though? Yes, I do. My Hausa is pretty com conversational. So you speak Yoruba? No, but Yoruba is 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 um, is yes. Like it's, it's, it's sort of you know you can't really tell me, but I have to ask. Excuse me, what did they say? Yeah, yes. Okay. So you I speak think. the three major what? Well, Ibo, Ibo Hausa, Ibo and Hausa are better than my Yoruba, but I think Yoruba can get by. Okay, for so for foreign languages, what French is? and Spanish. Que pasa? Que pasa? Para nada, para nada. Estamos ah, aquí contigo, sí. I think, I think outside of French is probably, if, if not sexier than French. 
Spanish? Hey! I actually, I like, I love speaking Spanish and I love singing. See, 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 I mean, see how you see how your body goes. Your body hits <laughs> with it because it is such an expressive language. It is, it is, you know? it is. And I taught myself for one year, so. Oh, yeah. Awesome. But, but back to books, though, to the book, thing, would you like to write, would you, it would be nice for children. I would probably narrate to, to, something. Yeah, it would be nice for you to, to, to put your story together and get somebody to write it while you just narrate it. And, you know. Yeah, I've been told that. Too, yeah, because, I, I because you, you know the good thing about science, they're talking about uh, technology and mm -hmm. how it has liberated all of us. Mm -hmm. You can have some of these uh, uh, dictation things, apps, and, and you tell your entire story. Chapter by chapter, and the app will write it. Oh, oh yes. Yeah, so you just do the voice. You, you don't have to write it. You just do the voice. And there is a there is a, I bet a young man who 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 is trying who is going into new publishing course. Okay. And you can actually order if you if for instance you want to order the Americana for instance, and there is no longer in print. He wants to get the rights on this, oh, wow. and he can just print one one if you are old for school. You? Yes, you know how we all are doing vinyl now. You <laughs> can just print it for you. Oh, yeah. wow. So the technology is going there, oh, wow. and so you can That's actually cool. narrate your book chapter by chapter in whatever voice you want to, ah. and then you get there. What do you think about this? I will never know. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a favorite? I must consider. Do you have a favorite uh, uh, quotes from the from the book? Uh, if you go to her, her, like her books, her books, the 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 all the chapters come with titles, okay. and I think one of the titles that stands out to me is, I think it's I think it's chapter eight or nine. I'm not sure. And I think it's uh, it's stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Stay ready. So it's stay like ready. it's like being born. Ready. Literally, just be because you never know when opportunities are coming. So you need to stay ready. So you don't have to bother about preparing. Just be prepared all the time. Boy Scout oh, thing. Yes, you, yes. You know, you know. I tell when I teach, because I teach sometimes. When when I teach, I tell people that, you know, um, I do it on set. When they say, uh, "Are you ready?" I was like, "God damn it! I'm, I was born ready." I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I'm always ready. Yes, so so yes, that's yes. that's it. Be ready, so you don't have, have to, to get, get ready. ready. Yes. Oh man, as an actor, I must. I believe in that. That's that's like my dream. You know. Because we know you, so like we know. I've seen you on set, so I know that this is your thing. Like when we talk about, when we talk about somebody who's always just ready to go, we call R and B. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. We've just known this for a while. We've seen you. Thank you very much. You're a GB. Uh, look, it's okay. We can we can go at this all day, but you know we're gonna have to go on a break. Okay. Uh, and and guys, when we come back, um, Chioma, what you do? Chioma and I are gonna play a game. I hope you're ready for it. I hope I'm, I hope I'm ready. <laughs> okay. I hope I'm All right. <laughs>
can spring up my sparklings. Yes. From where is where it was. Let's just hold on. B. B. I think. Now, well, if you had said A, you would you would have been wrong. So, so that leaves us with two. Yes. Okay. And like you said, it's just a question of you know one one yes, thing. Yes. Yes. Uh, you, you said B, yes, I did. which is your answer and your final answer. And my answer. final answer. Uh, now, if you had said anything else out of B, outside of A, you would have been right. Because the answer is actually C, which is 89. Huh? And not 88, which is no, 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 chose B. Question, sir. Yes. Excuse, yes. sir. When you say commercial bank, yes. is it including like, um, like microfinance? <laughs> or is it just bank is bank? Bank is bank. <laughs> And you see, because you, your question is say how many bank? You say commercial because I thought commercial was like proper banking. But when you say if you're adding, so you have, your smartness have calculated. Yeah, hey, I, I just thought, yeah, there's a difference with microfinance. With microfinance. Oh, man. Because commercial, I thought it was just where you go inside to just add deposit and withdraw. All right, I'll that's what I'm thinking. I'll talk to my, my, my sponsors. So I really got it. It's, it's really yeah, te um, technically we had, we forgot one. <laughs> okay, so question two. When did the Nigerian government formulate a policy that forced foreign-owned companies to sell into Nigerian ownership? Wait for it. Like, which is like indigenization. A, 1960. B, 1992. C, 1976. See, this is why, do you see this problem about reading book? This is what the problem, this is how, this is how we know we didn't read. Because I, this is something that I would probably in a book back in the day in school. But as I was not a reader, I will not be knowing it, you understand? So this is literally, God help us here. It's yeah, G-H-U. God help us. So I was, where? 1960, we just got we just got independence, so we didn't know what we're doing. Okay, we're, we're not sure yet. Mm -hmm. Then you said 19, the next one was 19, 1992. I think foreigners had come at that time, so mm -hmm. people were sort of inside the mix of the country called Niger. Then this is 76, which is the year of my death. So I, I will oh. say that God may have aligned. Me with the year of things happening, yeah, within, For, in the favor, of, in your the favor country. of my country in the year of my birth. Oh my so God. I would like to be proud at me to say that somehow, the year, the somehow, just mm. a bit of a stretch. Let's go see. Okay, so see, it is that's your final answer. Now, somehow, if you have said A. Of course, 1960, hey, we just got independence. What, hey. what, what are you trying to get for? Yeah, exactly, what we have not even yet, you know, so, done ourselves. So you will have been wrong. Mm. Totally wrong. Wrong. Huh. Now, if you had said B, then your sense of history will have been warped because in 1992, like you said, foreigners were already a part of Yeah, us. yeah, yeah. So why, why antagonize them yes. and, and all that? Yes. Then, when you were born. Yeah. All the lines fell into pleasant places. Ah. The universe aligned with everything. Mm -hmm. and, and God said, This girl is coming into a country that must be ready for oh, her. Richard, you're there, you're there, you're there, you're there. Just... And the answer is C. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> small book. Just small. I know. I knew it. I knew it was, I just, it was somewhere. <laughs> hey, I'm going to read. I'm going to read. Okay. Mm. So, so, so you're, you're right. Um, I, I I haven't worked out what people that get one of the two answers will get here, but uh, it's okay. Just oh, knowing so that I'm not just, fully foolish, uh, I'm, uh, I'm foolish a bit. Because we have had people who come here and very smart people that read books mm. and they don't get any words. So. Is it not everybody has to read? Yeah. No. Love what books we love. So, so I did ask you this one question before I let you go. Mm -hmm. Um, is it is it part of your question? No, no, no. Okay. It's just uh, express. Okay. Yes, yeah, still about the <clears throat> book. I okay. mean, I love the book. By the way, I would love to meet her. If you do meet her, 
If you do see when her, she comes tell, out, tell, tell her that I am a fan. I'm going to tell her. Matter of fact, I'm going to bring her to you. I'll hold, I'll yeah, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll hold myself. I'll not misbehave like I did when I saw Chimamanda. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I saw her on the plane. No, oh, she was she's and, people. And I was, she was with her husband. I kept saying to myself, she was just a few seats in there. I kept saying to myself, you can do it. You can do it. Really? After, I was, you? I was, I was, I was so you? Yes. When I told someone I was coming here, they were like, Tell him I said hi. I said, does he know you? She said, well, I saw him on a fl flight the other day and, and I had a mask on, but, you know, I, I just, I went to say, and I said hi. I said, okay, <laughs> see, because yeah, he's just, I'm like, you know, he's an icon. I, I get starstruck as well. <laughs> okay, the star, I get starstruck. get so, starstruck. So please tell Yvonne, I've seen bits and pieces of her. I like how she relates with her mom. I've met, I've met uh, Aduba, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so and I have met Chimamanda, okay. so remaining, yeah, Sherry, I haven't met, and, and of course. Yeah, I'm waiting to meet you, Gina's like on my list. Yeah, Gina, like, I need to meet uh, you know. Uh, so, so who would you recommend this book to? Um, I think I would recommend this book to anyone who sort of may feel like if you are in a place where you don't even know what, destiny holds for you um but you might maybe people tell you to do one thing but you see yourself going in another direction i think this would be a good and if you believe in jesus yeah you should believe in jesus to know that he can bamboozle you um you should read this book i think it will help you sort of like understand whose you are and who you are mm -hmm. that, that, that's provoking a question to me um is there a conflict between faith and comedy or do you think there's a convergent point or does it, I mean, help me here. Do you find, do you find yourself getting, are you a Christian? I am, I'm a Christian girl and I'm, I am, I'm, 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 I guess I call myself a believer. Okay. Um, do you find conflicts between your work and, and your faith? Um, there are some things I choose not to compromise on when it comes to like maybe like certain certain roles I'm being given and if I feel like this won't one I think of of my family and God and then I think of the brand as a whole which speaks to my fans and how will it look so I so certain things I will not do um, but then then again I'm still in a place where I think I'm learning that as a as an actor and as a comedian that's a different part of my life um, I still reflect God's love and I still reflect God in what I do but I think I might consider some things, doing some things and saying some things. It's just like we were talking about cursing. Right? Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, like Yvonne curses. <laughs> she curses when she's working, yeah. right? And, and that becomes and like work. Yeah, but in her regular talk, she won't be using cuss words. But she does curse when she's working. And I know that she's talking about how in her, in, she doesn't do nudity. She has mm -hmm. she, she You might think she's in, but they'll use body doubles and things like that because she will not be naked. In front of because we got, we got family. I know, I know, bro. Yeah, yeah, because I'll just say, I just tell my mother, don't watch that. That's him. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I suggest yeah, thanks, you and your friends don't watch it. Yes. So somebody might call you from your WhatsApp group at church and be like, We saw she in this thing. <laughs> See me. <laughs> Guys, I've been talking to uh, Chama Vera, aka Chibia. Uh, but don't go anywhere. The program is not over yet. When we come back, you know, that time, that's my favorite time. Story, story, okay. Story, story, story. <laughs> All right, I'm good. <laughs> Chica, thank you for coming. Thank All you right. for it's having me. Uh, Let me introduce a new way we change the rules. A new app that you can use. Want to change your life, then choose. Save money and invest. Pay bills when you decide. Safe and secure for you when you need a loan requesting One bank for you, one bank for me So chill and enjoy the ride Stop the current account on it One bank One bank by Sterling Open a current account and start transacting So it is story, story, story time Every week we take excerpts from the book The Truth About Banking in Nigeria, a book by Sterling Bank. And today we'll be taking a deep, deeper dive into commercial banks in Nigeria. So here goes. In October, 
1976, the government of Nigeria formulated a policy forcing foreign-owned companies to sell into Nigerian ownership. Citibank, a major bank in Nigeria, decided to leave the country rather than give in to government demands. Citibank liquidated a loan and lease portfolio amounting to $60 million. Other foreign banks decided to remain and sold the required 60% of equity shares to the central bank. Following the Nigerian indigenization decree, Nigeria Acceptances Limited became fully owned by the government and was managed in a partnership with Greenlays Bank Limited. Continental International Finance Company, Illinois, and American Express Bank Limited between 1974 and 1992. The bank was partly privatized and listed as a policy company on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Eight years later, in 2020, the federal government sold its residual interest in the bank, effectively making it a fully privatized institution. In 2014, there were over 89 commercial banks in the country, with most of them on the verge of failing. The central bank formulated a consolidation policy. These banks were required to increase their minimum capitalization from $2 billion to $25 billion, with a full compliance deadline of 31st December 2005. During this consolidation process, Nigeria Acceptances Limited now completed a merger with four other Nigerian banks, Magnum Trust Bank, NBM Bank, Trust Bank of Africa, and Indo-Nigerian Merchant Bank, and adopted the name Sterling Bank. It has since then run as a national commercial bank. Other first-generation banks in Nigeria today followed a similar trajectory. In line with the Central Bank of Nigeria's repeal of universal banking and after disposing of holdings in subsidiaries and affiliate companies, Sterling Bank now operates as a national commercial bank. We've come to the end of today's show, and as usual, I'll leave you this one is from Chima Chavez of Arrow of Ghana. Now listen to this. I quote, Have you not heard that when two brothers fight, a stranger rapes the others? End quote. I love that. Now before we go, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, Radio Now Studios, and text TBIR. Zero eight zero nine six eight double two five nine five on WhatsApp to join our book club. Today, you and I spoke with comedian, singer, and actor Chi Girl Chama, who is currently reading Bambuzo by Jesus. How about tricked me into the life of my dreams by Yvonne Oji? What book is next? Find out in our next episode of the book I'm reading.